Good YouTube, with your boy Curtis Baby, and today I'm doing a fragrance recommendation for a summer beast mode fragrance. So I haven't really said this yet, but one of my favorite fragrance makers, perfumers, is Paco Rabanne. I know, I know he gets a lot of slack for a couple of his fragrances. They may be too sweet for some of y'all, but for me, I love sweet fragrances. I'm always say that I love sweet fragrances and Paco Rabanne, he just specializes in sweet fragrances. They're gonna be beast mode, sometimes they're overly synthetic, but I love Paco Rabanne. And today we'll be talking about Ultra Red by Paco Rabanne. Y'all can see, I use it. I'm always show y'all, I use my fragrances, I wear them. But yeah, so we'll be talking about Ultra Red today and we'll be, given the price we'll give an in-depth review uh we'll talk about the performance and that's really it it's your boy trades baby let's get right into it all right so ultra red we'll start with how it looks so you can see um it looks like it looks like um a stapler almost like you know uh the work workspace staplers and i'll give you all the spray just to show y'all how it sprays so you just it's so it's so awky to hold it because it's square in the back and it's not round so like you hold it here and then once again you'll spread it just like that um but it's not too crazy it's a fingerprint magnet of course when it's like silver right here fingerprint magnet so i have to clean it off often but yeah that's really it i love red so uh the the ombre red right here into the clear bottle looks really good now we're just gonna go right into the smell i already sprayed it so y'all watch me spray it you're hit with a blast of citrus. So in the top notes, it's blood orange. And that's really what you get. You get like a really deep orange, a deep orange smell when you start smelling like as soon as you spray it, like it's a real, real, really, really deep orange. Like, you know, when you peel an orange peel and the zest just goes up in the air, like that's how deep it is. But it's, it's a less, it's less of a kick. Um, it's more, it's not like a grapefruit kick. It's more like a, a sweet tangerine kick. Like it's not too strong. You know, when you open up an orange, I remember in elementary school, we opened up oranges, everybody in the room could smell it. So it's not that strong, but it's more so like a tangerine, like a cutie. That would be a better one. Like the cutie, the small oranges. Uh, that's what you really get. You get that with a tad bit of vanilla, really. But it is really sweet. But yeah, so yeah, you get that with a, with a, hint, with a hint of vanilla. But the middle notes, it says praline and tonka bean for the middle notes. Um, after, um, so they said the the top notes, blood orange, middle notes, praline, tonka bean, base notes, vanilla and patchouli. So yeah, uh, so those are the two notes that, well, that's uh, those are the notes that you get on this. So um, and the opening, you get that really strong orange, that blood orange is very strong, but it's, it's not like a slap to the face. It's because the vanilla, uh, even like the orange zest, it evens it out. So vanilla evens out the the orange. I always have to smell it just to go back into it. And then as it starts to dry down, you get more of that vanilla. It's really it's a really good vanilla. It's not like an overly sweet vanilla. Um, but I, I enjoy this fragrance. So yeah, um, we'll talk about some pros and cons of this fragrance. So as all Paco Rabanne fragrances are, when it's super 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 hot. The, the fragrance can be cloying. You don't want to overspray this, but I'm an oversprayer because I like my fragrances. I like to smell myself, but it can be a little cloying for some people. Um, you will, you will, like, you will always smell it, like, if, especially like in a high heat situation. Uh, is it might, it may be cloying to you. But other than that, if you don't like orange, if you don't like citrus fragrances, this might, uh, it might be a turn off for you. Like, this definitely might be a turn off if you don't like orange, if you don't like citrus. If you don't like those notes, you may not like it. If you like vanilla and you like sweet, this is this is good. Tonga bean, especially with the vanilla, the pear, it's amazing. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you like sweet fragrances. But if you don't like sweet fragrances, if you, if you don't like your fragrances to be clean, this may not be the fragrance for you. But the pros, for me, longevity. This definitely, it gives you at least six hours for sure without having to respray. And six hours that you can go anywhere. You can go a day shift, maybe re like have a little um, decan at, at the office, spray a little bit more. You could do that. Um, you could just not respray and just ride it out. But six six to eight hours is, is, is a good enough time window for a fragrance, especially if you overspray. But yeah, um, yeah, longevity is fine in that department. You don't have to worry about it. It smells great. 
the price. So yeah, we're going to the price. The price, it's only $35. You can find it on a Juma shop. You can find it for like 45 on Amazon for, for many discounters. It's discontinued. It was hard to find at a point, but now I guess they found a ghost stock, but it's back in stock. So it's not really that bad. It's easy to find. It's real good. Um, so yeah, as far as that goes, that's, there's no problem. So the price is good. Performance is good. Longevity is like, is, is good enough for me for saying I'm an over sprayer. So that'd be fine. And that's really it. And it's versatile. So, uh, this, you can wear fragrances whenever for sure. You can wear fragrances whenever you want to, but this would, this is definitely like a good summer fragrance. So that's what this video is geared towards. It's a summer fragrance, but it's very versatile. You can wear it on date nights. You can wear it in the winter because like it's strong enough to cut through. And I would definitely say this is a beast mode fragrance. A lot of people might give me a little backlash, but this is definitely a beast mode fragrance to me at least. It's gonna last long and it's good. So I would definitely give this the nugget of approval chicken nuggets but yeah this definitely gets my nugget of approval i would definitely purchase this again once i run out i have so many fragrances now so it's really hard to run through fragrances like that unless you wear like a lot a lot so i try to double up on fragrances where i want it when i wake up then in the middle of the day switch it up but yeah um so the question of the day is what is a fragrance that you want to purchase that you have not purchased yet you can leave your answers down in the comment box below. And then again, it's your boy Trades, baby. I'm out. Follow your boy. Donate to your boy. Cash app. I need that. It might be down eh, right there, possibly. But yeah, it's your boy Trades, baby. Hit me up and I'm out.